Published 0624 EDT, the 21st of August 2017. Updated 0655 EDT, the 21st of August 2017. As usual, the Premier League dished up plenty of high drama goals and talking points at the weekend. The champions Chelsea bounce back with a dramatic late winner at Wembley and Liverpool battle to their first three points of the campaign. Here, Sportsmail's Ralph Ellis shares 10 things he learned from the weekend. Marcos Alonso scored twice as the Premier League champions overcame Tottenham 211. Chelsea new boy D. Muebaka Yoko isn't afraid to get stuck in if the midfield battles get a bit hasty. The £40 million arrival from Monaco added drive to the midfield against Spurs but also gave a bit of bite, giving away six free kicks as the worst defender of a Chelsea side which committed 21 fouls on their way to their 21 win. Bakayoko, who should really have been booked by ref Anthony Taylor for persistent fouling, was maybe trying to show he can deal with the physical side of English football. His disciplinary record in the last two seasons at Monaco shows only eight yellows and one red in 67 games across all competitions. Timu Bakayoko was not afraid to assert himself physically and picked up six fouls too. Liverpool could have had a bargain in the current transfer market by paying less than £10 million to hurl for Scottish left-back Andy Robertson. The 23-year-old, not involved in Jurgen Klopp's first two competitive squads of the season, made up for lost time with a storming debut in the 10-win over Crystal Palace. He looked solid defensively but also added an attacking dimension, playing an astonishing 61 passes in the forward half and setting up three chances. Liverpool could have found a bargain in Andy Robertson who performed well on debut three. Credit to 36-year-old Gareth Barry for keeping himself superbly fit while he tried to sort out his future after learning he couldn't expect regular game time with Everton. The veteran former Aston Villa and Manchester City midfielder, starting his 20th top-flight season, was immediately up to Premier League pace at Burnley. He ran 6.7 miles in the 10 win at Burnley, further than any opposition player except Jack Cork 6.90, and beaten in his own team only by Jake Livermore 7.1 and Jay Rodriguez 7.0. Gareth Barry ran 6.7 miles for West Brom and has kept himself in great condition for. Theo Walcott ought to be worried at the start of a World Cup year about whether he'll get enough game time to get back in England's squad. Gareth Southgate left him out earlier this year because had not been a regular for Arsenal, and despite a promising pre-season this campaign has begun with more time on the bench. Now 28, and in his 10th season at the Emirates, Walcott didn't get on at Stoke until 12 minutes from the end. He has two years left of the £140,000 a week contract but must surely feel that he needs to be playing regularly. Theo Walcott only played the last 12 minutes against Stoke and is struggling for game time 5. Southampton must be relieved they persuaded midfielder Oriol Romeu to sign a new contract in January as the Spanish midfielder continues to be their unsung star. The stocky 25-year-old, linked in the summer as a potential target to return to Barcelona where he began his career, was voted Player of the Year last season by Saints fans. And HES started this campaign with the same level of quality, winning the ball back more than any of his teammates in the 32 win against West Ham but also playing 101 passes. Oriol Romeu has been one of the standout players for Southampton over the last year six. What is it with Shinji Okazaki and getting subbed before the final whistle the Japanese international has scored in both Leicester's games this season and each time been brought off with just over 75 minutes gone? It's been a recurring theme ever since he signed for the club at the start of their title-winning season. In 82 appearances so far in all competitions, the 31-year-old has completed 90 minutes only six times. Shinji Okazaki has scored twice for Leicester so far this season but been subbed both times seven. Huddersfield did good business by agreeing an option to buy Danish international keeper Jonas Lossel at the end of his season-long loan from FSV Mainz. The Terriers have paid an £850,000 loan fee for the 6 feet 5 inch giant, but can get to him next summer for as little as £3.5 million when he will have only 12 months left on his contract with the German club. Lossel, 28, looked dominant in the 10 win over Newcastle but also made five good saves that protected the club's 100% record so far. Jonas Lossel from Mainz looks to be a great bit of business from newly promoted Huddersfield 8. 
Gary Rowett seems to have found a way to get the best from veteran striker David Nugent, who had pretty much flopped under previous boss Steve McLaren following his £2.5 million arrival from Middlesbrough in January. The 32-year-old had scored just twice under the regime of the former England boss, but scored both goals in a 21 win at Bolton to bring his total to seven in just nine starts since Rowett took charge. David Nugent is revitalised at Derby, scoring seven in nine since Gary Rowett took charge nine. You suspect Carl Robinson must have had an agreement with MK Dons not to go back to the club where he spent six years as the boss to poach any of their players. The Charlton manager has brought in eight since taking charge at the Valley last December, and not one of them from his old club despite its excellent record of developing young players. The nearest to an exception is midfielder Jake Forstakowski who had two separate loan spells at Milton Keynes but as a Brighton player presumably would NT breach the deal. HE's turned out a good acquisition, though, scoring twice in the 41 over Northampton to make it four goals in his last six games. Charlton boss Carl Robinson not poached any of his former MK Dons players 10. Losing playoff finalists often suffer a hangover at the start of the following season, but Exeter approving the exception. After just two weeks of the new campaign their hard-fought 10 win over Lincoln makes them the only one of the sides who missed out at Wembley last season to still have an unbeaten league record. Much-travelled former Plymouth striker Reuben Reid got the crucial goal. Exeter City striker Reuben Reid scored to make sure his side remain unbeaten this season.